Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. My husband, 39 male, knows about my 36 female, 6 month long affair, but hasn't told me. What can I do? Okay. So maybe let's start out with a little background. My husband and I first met when I was right out of college in a new city. He swept me off my feet and from our first date, it was like magic. We married three years after that, and now we have an eight-year-old daughter. We both work pretty great jobs, and between caring for our daughter and work responsibility, we are both busy people. But he always made time for me and treated me like royalty, even when I didn't do the same. Around the beginning of 2019, I became familiar with one of my coworkers, Nick. He's about my age and has a wife and three kids of his own. Nick and I started so innocent. We would go out to work outings together and stay close by and talk. I started sitting in his lap, and we had some light touching, but nothing too severe. I guess he reminded me of when my husband and I were young. There was a passion in Nick's eyes that drew me close to him. Eventually, we started sleeping together. I knew during the whole time I was wrong, but I pushed through. Never once thinking about the impact it could have on my husband. This morning started off as usual. My husband gets into the shower before me every day, and I snooze before I have to hop in too. He mentioned last night that he was going to stop by Costco on the way home from work today. So I grabbed my husband's phone so I could add to the shopping list a few things that I wanted. I know my husband's iPhone lock code, so I went into the notes app to add what I wanted. And when I opened the app, it opened to a folder with dates listed on it. The date started the first week of March and continued unabated until last week. I curiously opened one of the dates into my shock. It was a diary. I never knew my husband as the type of person to write out his thoughts and emotions. I read through the first couple entries of his diary, and it broke my heart. The diary was all about my infidelity and how my husband was processing it. Looking at the dates that were listed, he discovered my affair about a month after it became physical. I quickly locked his phone and hid it. When he came out of the shower, I helped him look for the phone I hid. My husband has a work phone and a personal phone, so he was unfazed about not being able to find it. He was on a time crunch and left the house with only his work phone. I called off work and read each diary entry. I feel like I may vomit. Almost each entry for the first three months he he discovered my affair were about how he planned on making her fall in love with me again. He had detailed in his diary the plans he had to make me forget about Nick. He talked about taking us on a week-long vacation so I couldn't see him. How he bought my favorite flowers and cooked my favorite dish, but I continued to see Nick. As the time went on and I continued to tell lies to my husband, he would write in the diary about how his resolve is beginning to waver, how he is becoming depressed, and feel so lonely and unloved. After three months, the diary entries became wholly about his depression and how he cries every time he knows I'm with Nick. He writes how every night before falling asleep, he has visuals of Nick's body on top of mind and how the visuals make him feel physically ill. He keeps writing in his diary how he doesn't want our daughter to grow up with divorce parents like he did. There is a diary entry from one month ago that stopped me on my tracks, though. In the entry, my husband talks about how one night when I was with Nick and he put our daughter to bed, he was crying to himself like usual, but the tears stopped flowing. He says that his body finally stopped producing tears for his failed marriage. He says this night was the night, the band-aid fully came off. In this entry, he talks about how his six-month-long process felt like a band-aid on his soul that was slowly being pulled off and how now the band-aid was finally off. He felt a wave of relief, like he finally got over me. Two weeks ago, he had another dire entry. In this one, talks about how he wants to arrange to meet an escort girl. He writes that he doesn't know how to start an affair, but having sex with someone other than his wife will be an interesting experience. My husband knows my cheating schedule. He has planned on meeting this escort sometime that I am with Nick. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm at such a loss. I'm so ashamed of myself. The whole time I kept telling myself that no one was getting hurt, 
that this affair would run its course, and life would go back to normal. I never realized the pain and suffering that I put my husband through. I have cheated on him so many times, and he suffered through it. What can I do now? I'm never going to cheat on my husband again, but it's probably too late to have this realization for me. Where do I go? What can I do? I know many of you will say some horrible things about me, and that's okay. But please help me save the marriage I ruined. Our community let her have it. Kathleen W86 says, Your post broke my heart for your husband. How can you possibly think that this would not have consequences? The first step is to tell your husband what you did, even if he already knows. He might still be willing to attempt to save your marriage, or he might really have worked through the pain and is now working towards an exit strategy. In either case, you need to tell him. You also need to have a long, deep conversation with yourself. Why did you cheat in the first place? Are you still committed to this marriage in a way that you should be? If you are, then why did you feel they need to cheat? Be prepared for the most likely outcome of this situation, a divorce, but if you're both still willing, try your best to save it with couple therapy and tons and tons of honesty. The op responds back, I'm hoping he will be willing to save our marriage, but considering what I've put him through, I'm going to let him dictate the terms of her future. Also, I tried to have a conversation with myself to figure out some stuff, but it really never goes anywhere. I will most likely seek counseling to discover the root cause behind my behavior. Thank you for the advice. A deleted account had this to say before bailing. You liked the chasing phase, and since it wasn't your husband, but another taken man, there was the taboo and lust for something forbidden. From that, you completely neglected your husband. No special dinner or flowers or knock on the head was going to keep you from being selfish and getting what you wanted. You even state how your husband treated you like royalty, and you couldn't reciprocate that to him. Then while in the affair fog, you figured out your husband knew. Not that that really affected you because you BS to yourself into believing no one was getting hurt. Then the realization, maybe a glimpse from empathy, that you did hurt him when you realize that you're replaceable and that your husband plans off starting his own affair. To try to even the playing field that you created with the imbalance. Now it's damage control mode because you're going to be in a broken marriage or divorced. That what you took for granted no longer is going to sit by and be your doormat that you've lost something in long term and special for a man that has his own wife and family that he is neglecting. I think your remorse or wake-up call is that you realize you've lost and lost big. Hopefully, it's enough to finally take ownership and realize you're not special and not irreplaceable. That there will be another woman eager to have a faithful and diligent husband that she will be proud to be with and will take care of him, where your behaviors indicate if you're not treated like a queen or not in the beginning parts of a relationship, you're willing to look outside for that excitement that you really aren't any better than anyone else or morally bankrupt and how you treat other human beings. One more quick read before closing out the day. My girlfriend lied to me, cheated on me, and left me. And I feel lost, and I don't know how to get through this. So I'm having a rough time with this. I just feel lost, and there's nothing about the situation I can control. My girlfriend and I were dating six months and she always told me she was so happy and that I was an amazing guy, and we were talking about moving in together. I was with my ex for nearly six years, as she lied a lot and just did a lot of stuff to make me question her, and I ultimately left. My girlfriend told me that she had guys cheat on her in the past, and she was really territorial if that was the right word. So we have had a mutual understanding of what went on in our pasts. My girlfriend came out to me that she cheated on me on a trip she took with her friends, and she left me after. She won't talk to me, says we're over, deleted her social media. It's like the woman I knew and loved that I dropped off at the airport is gone and whoever this is came back. In the six months we have been dating, I looked at her like she was the one, that I couldn't imagine my life without her. I haven't always been the perfect guy or boyfriend, but I have loved her deeply. I've been working on finishing my master's degree and applying to jobs, 
so I've tried my hardest to be for her and give her time and energy. Whether it's taking her coffee while she was at work, or taking a little extra time to talk on the phone or something. I really did not like the fact she was going on this trip because something felt off, but I sucked it up and took her to the airport because I felt like it would have been selfish. About a month ago, I told her this made me feel really uncomfortable, and she told me that she loved me and cared about me, and she understood, and that I shouldn't worry. She said that a guy she used to hook up with was friends with her friend and was invited by her. And that made me really worried and freaked out. On her trip, she told me that her friends were being mean to her and name calling her and talking about her and accused her of cheating, and she denied it. And then she came back and told me she did. So she threw her friends under the bus who were actually there to see it and defended me when I couldn't even when they hadn't met me, and she lied about cheating on me. And she only admitted to it after I probed her about why her friends were being mean to her. I honestly don't know what to do. Like, I'm physically sick from it, and I just feel so betrayed and hurt and alone. She won't sit down with me and talk, and I really don't know what to do. A few days ago, I even took her coffee and flowers when she was at work to attempt to normalize things, and she just yelled at me, blamed me for her having to leave work early due to being so upset. One minute. We went from talking about our future and moving in together to this, like, just tossing me like him an old coat being donated. She told me that she didn't know if she would have cheated if she was sure about her feelings. And then she said, if we were meant to be together, then God would put us together. Like in a roundabout way, she was blaming me and God for her decision. My friends have been great. Being there for me, taking me out but I still feel the emotion from all this like a toothache. I've been trying to stay busy and such, but it's really hard, and I really don't know how to cope with this. All right, let's hear the advice. Throw away Bear 61 says she's done for some reason. Don't try to get her back. It's probably cheating, but maybe not. It doesn't matter really. Don't demean yourself any further. Just let it go. Chances are good. She'll crawl back. In no circumstances, should you ever even speak to this one again? She's made a decision. Let her live with it. Just move on, my friend. You're better off without her. Flame Gatherer has our last comment. Agreed. Move on. She's doing you a favor by not communicating. It's harsh, but trust me, you will be better off. Negative emotions seem to creep in afterwards. Oh, plus she won't respect you as a man anymore because you're easily taking your back. Take some time off and reflect. Go out. Eight other girls if you can. Just don't worry about her. Do not worry about the closure.